Today we're going to talk about the moving line in PowerPoint. This is an animation effect that is overlooked sometimes. Uh, it's true that PowerPoint doesn't have very sophisticated animation like some true animation programs do, but you can mimic some true animation effects by just using the built-in animations in PowerPoint, uh, combining different animations, and then changing the timing settings. I'll show you what I mean. On screen, I have a block of text and uh, the word collaboration and outside the course structure are underlined. When I give a presentation with this text in it, I like to click the mouse and, and emphasize those two, those two words. So let's go to full screen view and I'll show you how this one works. Okay, we're in slideshow view now and I give my presentation, I'm speaking, I click and the word collaboration is underlined. You can see with a moving line and outside the course structure is animated with a moving line. So I emphasize those points as I'm speaking. Let's get back into PowerPoint and I'll show you how that's done. I'm going to copy this block of text by uh, selecting it and holding uh, control C to copy it. I'm moving to slide 2. That's just a blank slide in this theme. Uh, the theme is called Kilter. It's one of the built-in themes in PowerPoint. Control V will paste that block of text in. Okay. Now let's underline collaboration and we'll do that with the insert menu shape and choose the line. Okay. We've got a little crosshair there for our drawing tool and we'll just draw a line underneath collaboration. There we go. Now you can see that it has handles on both ends of it. That's those little circles. Right click that line and choose format shape. This may be going into some territory that some of you haven't been in but it's all very straightforward. We're going to change the width of that line to four points instead of one. It's too small right now. And we're going to change its line color to something that will stand out on this slide. Uh, this brick red color is what I want to use. And close that. Okay, there's our line. Now we might want to stretch it just a little bit. And uh, you can move it around when it's selected by pressing the arrow keys up and down. And if you need to move it a pixel at a time, hold down control and move it and press your arrow keys up or down. Okay, that's about where I want that line. Now let's animate it. Notice that the line is selected. Those handles appear there. Let's go to the Animations tab and choose the Wipe animation. You can see uh, how that works. Let me just uh, turn on that ribbon up there. And the effect option is to wipe from the bottom up. But what I really want is from the left to right, like that. Looks like our line needs to be just a little longer too, so let's lengthen it slightly. Okay, and that's how that's going to work. Uh, to keep track of how your animations are looking while you're working, you need to turn on the animation pane. It's an invaluable tool. This is the animation we're talking about. Did you see how I clicked on it there? It has a blue border around it. And the uh, number one, meaning the first animation on this slide, um, lit up over here on the slide. I'm going to deselect it. I can also simply click that number one and the animation is selected over in the animation pane. That's a really useful uh, tool. Okay, let's add our second animation here. Instead of drawing that line again and formatting it, let's just copy the line we've got. We can click on it and there's a couple of ways to copy. One is control D to duplicate you can see that. And the other is to, let me undo that, and the other is to control C and then control V to paste it. I end up with the same, same thing. We'll move it to where we want it, lengthen it to fit, and hold down control and use the up arrow to move it up slightly. That's where we want it. And you notice there's a number two there. Both of these animations are set to occur on click and that's what that little mouse means in the animation pane over there that picture of the mouse that means when I'm speaking I click the mouse animation one appears I click the mouse again animation two appears okay let's uh, go to slideshow view and see what this looks like in real life there's our block of text I click the mouse there's the first 
and there's the second. And that second one, uh, let's say we want to slow that down a little bit. That's a little faster than we want. We can control the timing of both of them simultaneously by clicking on the first animation uh, over in the animation pane, holding down shift, clicking on the second. And there's a little uh, drop down here. We can choose that, choose timing. And instead of it happening in one second, uh, the fast setting, let's slow it down to medium, two seconds. Okay. You can see there's other fields we can set there. Let's say OK. And that's maybe just what we want. Notice there's a play button over in the animation pane, and that will play the animations uh, in the normal, uh, normal view in PowerPoint, editing view. Or we can press F5 to go to slideshow view, click, and click again. Okay, that's a really simple example of a moving line using the wipe animation. Let's do a little more complex one now. I'm moving on to another slide in our slideshow. Slideshow view. Okay, I've got that slide selected. Now let's go to slideshow view. I'm holding down shift and pressing F5 to play the slideshow from the current slide. And I click. And all it took was one click. And our moving line is being animated on the screen followed by some moving text. Okay, there are different ways to do this, but I'm, that's all using the wipe animation. Let's go back to our editor, and I'll show you how that's done. We have a blank slide here to work on. Let's copy that target and go to our slide, fourth slide, and paste it in. Okay, there's our target, and it's centered on the slide now. If it weren't centered, if it were off-center like this, I would simply go to the drawing tools, choose a line center and a line middle to put it exactly in the middle of the slide. And when I was building this animation, I turned on the grid view uh, just so I could get the lines uniformly spaced. That's on the view tab and grid lines or what, what they're called. And you can see those little dots on my slide now. Uh, those are the grid lines. Let's leave those on for now just to accomplish our animation. Okay, now basically it's the same thing as the moving line uh, on that block of text. We'll go to the Insert tab, Insert a line, start at the junction of these two grid lines right here, hold down the mouse, and just draw a line over to this one. Okay, there's our line. Now we have to right-click it, format it, I'm going to make it four point once again so it's nice and big. Uh, this time I want to make a different type of line, a dashed line. And I like the rounded caps on my dashed lines. Uh, you can see you have several different choices here. We also need to change the line color to something that will stand out on this slide. Let's choose this nice orange color here. That stands out nicely. And click close. Okay, there's our first line. Now let's go ahead and animate that line uh, before we draw our other lines, okay? So I'm going to, well, that line is selected, I'm going to the Animations tab. I'm choosing Wipe. And actually I want to wipe from the left here. Okay. Now I can draw my other lines based on this first line. Let me select it. Control D to copy it. And move my handles here. so that it lines up with my first line. Let me copy that again. Bring that one down here. Need to move that a little bit and shorten it to right there. And let's copy our vertical line now to save us some trouble. Drag it over here and move it down to the middle of our target. And now we need to put an end on this particular line, uh, an arrowhead, let's say. So let's format our shape. And let me move this out of the way. And actually, the end that is in the target is actually the beginning of the line. If you'll recall, I drug it over from here. So if I choose to put an arrowhead on that and make it a 
large arrowhead. That's how I would do it. Okay, and now we have four animations as you can see and they're all set for on click. Let's see what that looks like now. Let's use the play command here. Okay, that's roughly what we want. We need to do a little fine tuning by moving things around slightly. But let's play it again. That's roughly what we want, but the animations are not exactly uh, as they should be. Uh, they're all, if you notice, from the left. Our top line we want to be from the left, certainly, but the other lines we want to be different. Let's select our second animation, go to Effect Options, and come down from the top, like that. Let's select our bottom line, choose Effect Options, come in from the right, and finally our last line, and Effect Options, and up from the bottom, like that. And instead of them all being set for on click, I'm going to select the bottom three. The first one I want to be on click, but the bottom three I'm going to set to start after previous. So it all becomes the same animation uh, yet spaced out. And you can see that spatial uh, relationship uh, shown in the animation pane here. And I'm going to select all of them and slow down this animation by choosing timing and making it medium instead of very fast so you can see it occur slowly. Okay, and that's a preview of what it's going to look like. In real life we would probably uh, speed this up a little bit. Not medium, but let's select fast. That's more like it. Okay, that's not too fast, but it's about right. Now we have a block of text we want to appear too after our arrow shows up. Let's go back to slide three, grab that text, copy it, come down to slide four, paste it in, and it's animated too, but let's, let me show you the animation process. Select its container and put a solid line around that container by clicking on the dashed line. Choose wipe from left and let's adjust its timing to be fast and let's adjust its uh, occurrence to occur after previous so it's the last thing that will show up okay now let's turn off our grid lines there we go and see what we've got Shift F5 to play it. Click the mouse. There's our moving line. And there's our caption. See? Looks pretty sophisticated. All simply done with the animation tools in PowerPoint.